everyone and welcome to our webinar. Today we'll be taking you on a behind the scenes tour of Europe brought to you by your University Alumni Association and AESU Alumni World Travel. AESU has developed and operated exceptional travel programs since 1977. The trip we'll be discussing today is the Classic Europe Graduation Tour, which has two options you can choose from. We offer an 11-day trip to four countries or the longer 16-day trip to five countries. You'll be visiting England, France, Italy, and Vatican City, and if you choose the longer option, you'll continue on the extension to Greece. The Classic Europe trip begins in London. Upon arrival at the airport, you'll be met by your tour director and then transfer with the group to your hotel in the city if you purchased airfare with AESU. If you purchased air on your own, you'll be in charge of transferring to the hotel. It's easy and you can always call us prior to departure for options on how to arrange it. Once you get to the hotel, you have a free afternoon to relax after your flight. In the evening, we'll get together for a welcome orientation followed by a fun London pub crawl. This is a great time to get to know your tour director and fellow travelers. The following morning is our city tour where you'll see places like Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and Piccadilly Circus. Afterward, you have the rest of the day at your leisure and you'll have a day pass for the tube, which you can use to go see more of London. Throughout the duration of the trip, your tour director can help you with any questions you might have. If you need ideas about things to do during your free time, just ask your tour director. That's what they're there for. On the morning of day four, you'll travel from downtown London to downtown Paris on the high-speed Eurostar train. The trip only takes about two hours and you'll travel through the channel below the English Channel at up to 186 miles per hour. Once you get to Paris, our local art historian will introduce you to all the exciting sites, such as the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, and the Hunchback's Notre Dame Cathedral. In the evening, you'll enjoy a French bistro dinner followed by a cruise on the Seine River. All the monuments and fountains will be illuminated, which will make for some great photo ops. Your next day in Paris is free for you to do and see whatever most interests you. Join your tour director this morning for an optional visit to a, perfume, a French perfumery and museum where you'll learn all about the art of perfume manufacturing from ancient times. Afterward, consider visiting the Palace of Versailles well known as Louis XIV's residence. Your two-day museum pass gives you access to the Hall of Mirrors and the King's Grand Chambers, as well as over 70 museums, like the Louvre and other famous sites all around the city. And your Paris travel card will give you access to public transportation throughout the city. This evening, consider joining us for a legendary Can Can Cabaret show at the world famous Moulin Rouge. Your tour director will find out who wants to go beforehand and will purchase the tickets for you. On day six, you'll board a sleek high-speed train to the French Riviera. Discover this area's thriving art scene and buzzing nightlife after this evening's brasserie dinner. The next day is free to explore the French Riviera. Consider joining us for an optional excursion to beautiful Monte Carlo and Cannes. Please be aware that this option might not be available during the Cannes Film Festival or the Monte Carlo Grand Prix. The following morning, our journey takes us along the scenic Côte d'Azur sun splash beaches, finally crossing the border into Italy and arriving in Pisa with its stunning Piazza di Miracoli. Take time to admire the baptistry, the cathedral, and take selfies in front of the famous Leaning Tower. Then we'll travel along rolling hills of olive groves and vineyards and truly immerse ourselves in the magic of Tuscany. Renaissance culture is around every corner with hilltop towns unchanged from the Middle Ages. After checking into our hotel, we'll enjoy a Chianti wine and olive oil tasting, then savor regional dishes featuring produce and wines directly from the local farms at our Tuscan feast. The next day, we're off to Rome to explore Caesar's Roman Forum and Circus Maximus, where chariot races were held with our local historian. Then a trip across the Tiber River brings us to St. Peter's Basilica and Vatican City. Your next day in Rome is free to go see the breathtaking Sistine Chapel or use your Roma Pass discount card for a more in-depth exploration of the Colosseum, where gladiators fought to the death. Have fun tonight at our Viva Italia pizza party in Trastevere, 
the perfect spot to get a glimpse of the old world while still enjoying the lifestyle of today's Romans. Now, for those of you ending the trip in Rome, this will be your farewell dinner. In the morning, unfortunately, you'll be heading home. But for the majority of travelers, you'll continue south to Greece. For those of you continuing on to Greece, this morning you'll travel to famous Pompeii, the city buried in 20 feet of ash after a volcanic eruption in 79 AD. A local historian will lead you on a tour of the ruins where you explore the excavated wonders, including homes, markets, and temples that remain intact, and streets that still bear the marks of chariot wheels from 2,000 years ago. Then you continue travels across Italy's boot to board our overnight ship to Greece. Pack an overnight bag for this because your main luggage will be stored in the ship's hold. Past travelers have called this part of the trip their favorite as you are entering the relaxing part of your journey. A lot of people like to just sit on the outside decks and watch the sun go down and meet other people. There are restaurants and bars to check out and always some type of entertainment on board. Once the ship docks, our group will be picked up by our local motor coach, taking you across the peninsula from Patras to Galatas. Here you'll catch a taxi boat for a short ride to the Greek island of Poros. You'll have three days to relax by the water and do as much or as little as you'd like. You can just sunbathe and swim in the clear blue sea or consider optional activities like water skiing, wakeboarding, banana boating, parasailing, and tubing and you'll enjoy free bike rentals for a day, which will offer an opportunity to explore more of the island. Tasty Greek dinners are included every night, and there will be a fun toga party on your last island night. After our relaxing days on the island, you'll board the Flying Dolphin Hydrofoil to Athens. Once there, you'll see famous sites such as the 2,400-year-old Parthenon and the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Your free afternoon may find you wandering the paths of Plato and Socrates or bargaining at a lively market. As this is our last night together, everyone is invited to our farewell to Verna dinner in the Plaka district, the oldest neighborhood in Athens at the foot of the Acropolis. The next morning, you'll head to the airport and fly back home with many fond memories and plans to return to your favorite city. All right, so that's the classic Europe trip in a nutshell. Now I'd like to go over everything that's included with the trip. You'll get nine nights in Superior Tourist Class hotels, including twin beds and a private bath, the Eurostar train from London to Paris, the high-speed train from Paris to Nice, daily continental breakfast, four three-course specialty dinners, guided tours in London, Paris, and Rome, all led by local historians, a two-day museum pass in Paris, a Paris travel card, a boat cruise down the Seine River, and a Roma Pass that gives you full access to the public transport system and discounts for museums and theaters throughout Rome. In addition to all of that, you have a private tour director with you for the entire land trip, all scheduled sightseeing, a private air conditioned bus, and all service charges and local taxes are included. If you opt to go on the extended itinerary, you'll receive an additional five nights in superior tourist class hotels or better, an overnight ship to Greece, daily continental breakfast, and four three-course specialty dinners. You'll also receive admission into the Pompeii excavations and Acropolis in Athens, along with guided tours from local historians. The trip cost depends on which option you choose. The 11-day land package is $3,380 per person in a shared room. If you opt for the longer 16-day tour, add an additional $865 for a total of $4,245 per person. I can tell you from past trips that more than 75% of the group will continue on to Greece. Keep in mind, you cannot add the extension while you are on the tour. Now for the few things that are not included. Those would be any meals, beverages, admissions, and transportation not mentioned in the inclusions, and any optional excursions that are offered to you during the trip. There are two excursions offered on this trip, the Can Can Cabaret Show in Paris and the excursion to Monte Carlo and Cannes. In addition to these excursions, you'll have the option to participate in water sports in Poros for those of you on the Greece extension. 
You can find details on the optional excursions on your tour's website. Upon arrival in Europe, your tour director will take bookings and payment for the optional activities that you would like to sign up for. AESU can book your flights for you, and there are many advantages to booking your airfare with us. First and most important is peace of mind that we know where you are on your flights at all times. If your flight is delayed or canceled, the airline will inform us, and then we can pass that information on to the tour director or, if necessary, assist with rebooking. Another reason to book air with us is that you'll receive free transfers to and from the airport overseas if you're traveling on the regular tour dates. If you need to change your flights, you can call us and we can take care of that for you. Depending on the type of change, the airline may be charging fees. For more information on your flights and any flight questions, you can call our flight department at 1-800-638-7640. As for spending money, make sure you take a small amount of cash with you. During your travels, ATMs and credit cards are the best way to exchange money. Just make sure your credit card is on a major network and be sure to call your bank before leaving to let them know that you'll be using your cards outside of the country. If you don't, they may put a fraud alert on your card or they could cancel your card entirely. We suggest that you budget around $60 to $80 per day for personal spending, including food, drinks, laundry, some sightseeing, etc. And remember, spending money is not included in the overall price of the tour. As far as documents you'll need, everyone will need a valid passport to travel. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months past your return date. If you are not a U.S. citizen, you'll want to call your consulate to see if you are in need of a visa. U.S. citizens do not need a visa for this trip. As for shots, you'll want to consult your physician. Most people don't need any, and at the moment, none are required by the CDC. Your final tour documents will be emailed to you approximately three to four weeks prior to departure, and will also be available to download from your AESU account. For hints on packing and luggage, check out links on our website for suggestions. You're allowed to take one carry-on bag, such as a backpack, in addition to a purse, and one check bag with a maximum weight of 50 pounds. Your final documents will include the updated rules from the TSA on carry-on bags. When it comes to taking electronics, we advise taking as few as possible and leaving your laptop or tablet at home. Just remember, anything you take with you can also be lost, stolen, or broken. If you do bring your smartphone, be sure to check on international rates, especially data roaming with your carrier. We would advise turning data roaming off while traveling unless your carrier offers an affordable international package. Please be aware that not all hotels may offer free Wi-Fi. Some hotels offer free service in the public area, such as the hotel lobby. Some may offer complimentary service throughout. Some may offer service at a charge anywhere in the hotel, and some may not offer Wi-Fi at all, or it may be very spotty. There are internet cafes and hotspots everywhere in Europe, and a lot of public areas offer free Wi-Fi. For example, the Tower of London has free Wi-Fi, and so does the Louvre. Keep in mind that these places, including your hotels, can be very busy and the connection might not be very strong. London's Heathrow Airport also offers free Wi-Fi, so you can connect via our group messaging app with the tour director and fellow travelers upon arrival. All right, now I'd like to share a few helpful hints with you. Make sure you take a book or some games for the rides in between cities. You'll be covering over 2,300 miles of European soil by ships, ferries, trains, and by private motor coach. If you have a student ID, take it with you because extra discounts may be available at select stores, sites, and museums. Before you leave, plan out things you might wanna do during your free time. If there are certain museums or sites, purchase tickets online so that you have them when you get there, allowing you to skip some of the long lines. Be sure to make copies of all of your documents, including your passport, credit cards, travel documents, hotel list, etc. Last but not least, have fun. This is a once in a lifetime trip that you'll remember forever. All right, thanks so much for joining us today and we hope to see you with us in Europe this summer.